going to start with just a little bit of a block in. Do a little bit of a drawing. I want to go past the center, not up to the center. keep this quick because this first test I believe I've got like 12 minute clips so it's all a learning curve here for me now so thing when painting or drawing lines to remember is not to paint up to the lines they go well beyond them all right so I basically have my scene Somewhat blocked in. The shadow here, this is a shadow that's going to play big, really bright background here. I'm just going to start blocking in some bold strokes. Let's start with the sky. I have a bit of a orange. Kind of a little bit of a cadmium orange, slight red, plus white, Naples yellow that I used to block in the background. Nice thing about an undertone is you can allow bits of it to come through. It'll unify the picture. Also add some excitement. Keeps a little bit more, I suppose, a contemporary feel if you were to leave it more unfinished. Puts you in control though, and that level of finishing is gonna be up to you. A lot of times it depends on how much light you have and how long you have your light. So an undertone kind of gives you a little bit more control as you orchestrate your picture. Okay, so I've gone from a darker uh, blue. I've mixed um, some ultramarine French blue. I mixed a little bit of uh, scarlet red and um, some white. And then I, because white tends to cool things down quite a bit, I add a little bit of um, Naples yellow to it to warm it back up. All right, so it kind of gives me some of my sky. I'm not going to finish it here too much because I am going to use some of that sky later to work back in and define my tree mass. All right, I'm using uh, rosemary brushes. I don't necessarily do a lot of uh, cleaning of the brushes other than wiping while I'm working. So I'm going to uh, work in my darker darks now. I'm going to go for a little bit more contrast here. I'm using a Gamblin gel as a dryer. I'm not worried about the subject that I'm painting. Um, I'm squinting my eyes looking at shapes, the color and the value of those shapes. And I'm gonna let placing those colors, values in the right places in their shapes determine what the subject is. Letting you, the viewer, come to that determination. If you take two, three strokes, paint with the paint on the brush, 
go back and get more paint. When you take more than about three, four strokes or whatever, the idea, in other words, you're depleting your amount of paint on the tip of your brush, then you actually begin to remove paint. Just looking for the abstract relationships right now. I can use negative space later to poke holes in, around, between, and through, which is what negative space is. And I can sculpt my leaves using my changes in value and color. Okay, so I just had a phone call. Worked a little bit while I had the phone, the speaker phone here, so, but I had to keep working. No two intervals the same. I don't want perfect threes here. I gotta have some breaking up. I can worry about that a little bit later. So I work back and forth, back and forth. At some point I'll take my paper towel and I'll kind of dance it across some of these edges, break things up. give you a little example here. So I'm not going to probably video record too much more. I'll probably finish this, show you the finished product here. Again, this is just an experiment on film track and the learning curve here of a new instrument for videography. Tree's got some nice character to it.
Well, I think that's about all I'm going to record right now. Get the idea here. I'll share the finished picture later. It's been interesting. We'll see how this works out.